Folks, also in our COVID-19 coverage, the return of the sound of the Colorado Springs Philharmonic tonight for the first time in seven months. The symphony has been unable to play, leaving musicians of all kinds barely making it with so many concerts canceled. KRDO News Channel 13's Chase Golightly joins us live from the Pikes Peak Center to explain why it's not just the musicians who are struggling. Chase. Bart, the Colorado Springs Philharmonic played right here just outside the Pikes Peak Center. Uh, in front of a crowd of less than 175 people. As much as it was meant to be to entertain those who have waited so long to see them, it was also to show that they can still work even with COVID-19. Music filled the air in downtown Colorado Springs. For the first time since February, the Colorado Springs Philharmonic played for a small crowd. Some longtime fans more than happy to see them play once again. It's great. We miss the Philharmonic. And members of the symphony miss playing for them. Jeremy Van Hoy, the bass trombonist, says these musicians have been struggling to get by with all concerts canceled since the pandemic started. We've been uh, essentially um, teaching and um, collecting unemployment where possible to try to uh, scrape by. Wednesday's pop-up performance was meant to show that they can still work. We're excited to get back to work um, and play for our audience again. But it's not just these musicians who are having a hard time with COVID-19. Finding some place that's, that's willing to pay anything right now is really hard. It's also musicians like Rich Owen, the lead singer of a local band seen playing here, saying while some venues have started to open up, only a limited number of people are allowed in, meaning the pay they receive barely covers gas. And the smaller venues, they just can't generate enough money right now to make it worthwhile for the band. But some small venues like the Black Sheep haven't had any concerts. And we haven't had an actual live band play in here since March 14th. Every day is a, a struggle to just make ends meet. General Manager Kevin Zerfus says they opened up the venue as a bar to try to get some money coming in. But it doesn't make up for what they would usually get this time of year. This is usually the time where we're pumping out seven national shows a week and it's very different going to a bar night with 50 people tops you know it's it's crazy stuff saying if this continues on for another year musicians and concert venues won't be able to take it and have to close their doors like so many have already done now the philharmonic doesn't have any other outdoor concerts scheduled at this time but they hope that soon changes reporting live in colorado springs chase colightly krdo news channel 13.